This is a pretty cool opportunity for two baseball idiots to be able to do something like this. So this is my first baptism, baptism, whatever you call it, baptizing opportunity. Um, uh, Jose actually got baptized in the Jordan River, which is pretty cool for you guys that don't know, where Jesus was actually baptized. I was baptized with my mom by Danae's dad in California. Um, so it's a pretty cool experience. And Jose's going to kind of explain what it means, what it is. We've already talked to the kids to make sure they know where they're going. Um, but uh, he, he'll explain how it works and, and why you do it and the, the whole purpose of doing it. And then I will be dunking you guys hard, Will. You're getting some. <laughs> so. Yeah, I did a little devotional with the boys last night at practice just about what, what baptism is because sometimes there's going to be some misconception of kind of what it is. And, and from the biblical perspective of what Troy and I try to always teach the boys is not our opinion but what the Bible says. And many of us, our parents, baptized us when we were babies. And that's really more of a baby dedication because baptism is an outward expression saying that I am choosing to live for Jesus, that I, I believe him in all my heart, and, I'm, and that they're saved. And then when you, when you get baptized, it's not just for them, but it's for everybody in attendance. Now you guys are the accountability partners for these young men to be able to help them walk in a way that glorifies God. Not anything about like character or all that kind of stuff. That's just a byproduct of trying to live for Jesus and who he is. But baptism is just an outward expression saying, I wanna make a change. I want to live differently, and living differently is for Jesus. And babies can't do that. Um, I know I was baptized as a baby, but then as I got older and I accepted the Lord as my Savior, then that's when I made that change to say I want to do an outward expression and do that. And I just happened to be in Israel when that happened with our church for that. So it was a big deal for me, um, and it literally changed my life to just refocus and to be able to live differently and not be about Jose each and every day. So our goal with this is not make it about Jose, Troy, whatever, but their own individual relationship with God and what they want to and what God wants to do with them. You know, so it's really an accountability piece for all of us in attendance to encourage them to walk and follow the Lord with all their heart, all their mind, all their soul, and to live in such a way that's not perfect, but to live in such a way that is trying to be as righteous and as godly and as Christ-like as possible. And that's why we do baptism. Um, and it's a pretty amazing opportunity and um, we're thankful for the opportunity. So I just wanted to share a little bit about what baptism is from a biblical standpoint versus Jose's opinion or Troy's opinion. Although my mook would be better than his anyway, but you know. <laughs> but just kidding. So. I got better English, that's for sure. All right, so. so when we when we do this, um, what this symbolizes is basically when you go under the water, it's your sins going under the water your sins are basically being buried with Jesus and then when you come up it just symbolizes you being a new creation in Christ so that's the symbolism of doing it um, so that's what we're gonna do each one of these guys they chose not to say anything because they were nervous but we'll do it one at a time after they're done coming up out of the water we can clap and celebrate because have been celebrating at the same time so it's a pretty cool experience so would anybody like to say anything before we start no yes I appreciate all of you parents for allowing us to do this again, for sure. It's pretty cool. You guys want to say anything? Last chance. Woo! <laughs> you guys have so much to say with each other at practice. I know. All right, who's going first? Let's go. Come on, Will. You better not be uh, right here. We need to help coach you. Guys. Jose doesn't want to get down here because he's be like this, trying to be in there. <laughs> All right, so Will Strand, I love Will, he's awesome. We, we've come a long ways with Will as far as like attitude and stuff like that. And I really truly believe that as much as we try to help him become a good baseball player and a good person and the, we've had some pouty issues in the past, he's matured a lot over the last couple years being around us and it's really cool to see. And for you to do this is, is pretty awesome. So I'm proud of you for doing this. So with that being said, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yeah. Yes, and are you ready to live for him all the rest of your days until you get to meet him one day? Yeah. All right, so grab your nose, bro. You ready to roll? So I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, I can toss you around. Cowboy. You wanna go, Nico? SJ's coming. 
Nico, you probably get right here. You're good right here. You're like Jose. You can stand on this one. <laughs> All right. Nico. I've known Nico for probably a year. He did some training with us, but you're mostly known for hanging out at that guy's games. Probably wishing you were playing and hitting better than him, huh? So um, you're awesome for doing this, and I'm proud of you for doing this. Just need to know. Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And you're ready to live for him all the rest of your days? Yes. Until you meet him again? Yeah. All right. You grab your nose, bro. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good job, dude. You might have to be up here with me. You can go last if you want. All right. Go ahead, Braden. You big enough to go low? Yeah, I think. Why don't you go down there and just prove it on you, that don't, You'll get your mic all mic'd up, bro. All right, Braden. What can I say about Braden besides the fact like you're one of my favorite kids ever? Hardest worker that I know, great attitude, great leader. Besides Trey, I guess you're probably second favorite. <laughs> and you guys, I guess. So they're like down on the list a little bit. But I love this kid. He's awesome. Braden is one of the most hardworking kids I've ever seen in my life. And he gives a hundred percent in everything that he does and it's pretty cool to see you do that and grow as a human being I've seen you actually grow as a person we've had some things to work out over the years and um, it's just been cool to see you develop as not only a better baseball player but a better person and I'm proud of you for doing that so have you accepted Lord Jesus as your personal Savior yes and you're ready to live for him all the rest of your days yes until you see him again yep. all right grab that nose bro I baptize you in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Good job, dude. You get a little butt slap every time. I got a baseball butt slap. I'm gonna make it happen. I might knock the over though. <laughs> All right, Eric. I guess I've known you guys all the same, huh? Pretty much. Eric has been an awesome person to have around. Um, Eric is is. I tell him all the time. Eric's like the best baseball player on the field sometimes, and then sometimes he hates me because I get on him for some stuff. But I think this kid's very talented more than just baseball. I think he's an awesome person, awesome teammate, and I really believe he's gonna do big things for Jesus if you're allowing him to do that. So, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. You're sure about that? Yes. And you're gonna go to heaven one day? Yes. All right, grab it, here we go. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Look at that hair. Uh, you're like the wet. I know. Let's go, Zay. You can go on this one. You go on that one. All right. Zay. First of all, thank you, Sabrina and Zay, for kind of doing this whole thing and wanting to be able to do this. He was the first one that kind of approached us with doing this, which is kind of a step of faith in its own, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll call you the, the leadership and the baptisms today, but uh, that's basically how the Christian faith works is you step out and you want to walk a certain way and you lead that way and uh, people will follow. So I'm proud of you for doing that specifically. But Zay is the funniest kid that I know by far. He has one of the coolest sense of humor I've ever even recognized or witnessed. You probably want to say something funny right now, I could tell. Um, and he's same thing, like he works hard, great kid, always a great teammate. Um, as far as a person, he's a great leader. I just love having him around just because of he's, he's always upbeat. He can go 0 for 4 and strike out a couple times and he's in the dugout cracking jokes and just a great leader and he's gonna do big things, not for baseball only, but for Jesus now, which is pretty awesome. So, are you a believer in Jesus Christ? Yes and you're gonna live for him the rest of your life yes. until you meet him in heaven one day. Yes. All right, grab it. If you go too low, you better pull yourself back up. <laughs> I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Good job, Zay. Okay, you can do Sierra. Okay. I'm, just, I'm not as intimidating as Troy, so. Don't get stuck down there, coach. I might get stuck, oh my goodness gracious. All right, well, I'm very thankful for this opportunity. And so, pretty simple question. Have you accepted the Lord as your Lord and Savior? Yeah. You excited about this? Yes. Okay, so this means you're outwardly confessing that you're gonna live for him all the days of your life? Yes. This is gonna mean life's gonna be perfect and everything's gonna be 
like hunky dory the whole time. Is that an old word? You're hunky dory, Jose. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but what it does mean is Jesus is going to be with you all the days of your life, no matter what you're going through, how you're going through, and He was always there for you. You good? Yeah. You excited? Yes. All right. Well, I put, put your hands up. And hold your nose. Oh my goodness, I might fall down. <laughs> Here we go. I baptize I'll you grab you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Oh, oh pull it back up. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Good job, Sierra. High five. Good job. Okay, it's official. Pool party time.